Hey guys, Adam with Blue Line. We recently just brought out one of our absolute favorite patterns, uh, the Mima. Uh, if you've watched the Northern Native series, uh, I tied this fly for uh, bull trout in Canada when we were uh, headed up there. But since then, it's it's proved to be a fantastic bait fish pattern. Works on a lot of different fish. We've it's one of our favorites. Quickly became one of our favorite smallmouth flies. Great for largemouth. Um, it's an awesome trout pattern. We've caught some really awesome browns, bows on this fly. And I even custom tied some for some, uh, some of my friends going down and fishing for bowfin in the Okefenokee Swamp. Uh, the link for that is uh, down below here. So check that out if you haven't. But the Meemaw quickly became one of our favorite flies. Uh, but I wanted to kind of talk about it with uh, regards to some of the hooks. We get some questions about uh, do we sell barbless flies, things like that. Also, this fly was designed for bull trout. Most places in the country, you cannot have two hooks when you're bull trout fishing, and they have to be uh, barbless. So, just wanted to address a couple of uh, quick things there. So, first off, the Mima, uh, the rear hook actually is just uh, back here. It doesn't have anything tied onto it. So, you, uh, we kind of wanted you to choose. Of course, if you want to bass fish, I don't take any of the hooks off. I leave them all on. So we wanted to put all the features on the fly and then let anyone who needs it remove it. So uh, it does have the front hook and a rear hook. So if you are bull trout fishing and you do want to remove a, a hook, you can still choose. You can either cut the front hook or cut the rear hook. So I often have a pair of really heavy duty uh, wire cutters with me. So these things will cut a hook pretty easy. Even yeah, we use some of the uh, highest quality hooks in the industry uh, and these things will still cut hooks really easily. So you can either cut off that front hook and just cut it off up here towards the bend so that you don't have a little piece sticking down. But if you grab that fly, pull it up this way, get in here and cut it, you'd be able to cut the front hook off and have that rear stinger hook. Or if you like the front, if you like the front hook and not the rear, this is uh, articulation wire. Really, it's pr some pretty strong articulation wire, but this stuff will still cut it. You can take these guys, come in here, and cut the rear hook off. Uh, obviously, you, you can cut a rear hook off, but you can't add one. So I wanted you guys to be able to have the rear hook if you wanted it, and remove it if you don't. Also, same with my, all of our flies uh, are sold with barbed hooks. Uh, we, we've had a couple people ask about that situation. Uh, we have a lot of people that like to fish with barbed hooks or have or fish areas of the country where uh, there aren't any regulations against barbed hooks. So again, to that point, you can never add a barb to a hook, but it's not very difficult to remove. So you got a pair of hemos. All you got to do is reach in here, push these barbs down on the front, the back, or one or the other. Uh, a lot of places will, will that we fish do let you uh, even fish two hooks on a fly as long as they are both barbless. Not the case for some, some fisheries and some trout. Before you ever head out on the water, make sure that you go check your local regulations and make sure that uh, you, know, you are following all the rules. But just wanted to address that. Uh, it's extremely easy for you guys to adjust these flies to fit your regulations with either a hook cutter or a pair of hemos to just pinch the bars in. Well, thanks guys. Hopefully that helped you out, answer some of the questions. Uh, if you guys have any other questions that we didn't cover, please leave them in the comments. We'll try to get back with them when we can. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.